Weird, isn't it? Evening, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. A Monday night stream. A Monday night stream chat. How are you wonderful people all doing? Welcome to New Stream Gang. Okay, it's... um. We're trying something different from this week. I am 99.9% .9 sure it's going to stay, but there is a 0.1% chance this doesn't work, and so we will change it up again. But we're trying something new from this week. So there's two changes from today on the channel, okay? Change number one is this. Monday night stream on YouTube, okay? That's the first change. And specifically, the Monday night stream. So the Wednesday streams are focused on 40k news, you know, events, etc. That kind of thing. Friday night is focused on being silly and drinking. Monday nights is going to be focused on hobbying and making models and stuff. All right? That's the kind of focus. Now, if you followed along on the Twitch journey, if you were there for the Twitch content, we were doing this on Twitch. And it was okay. There's a couple of problems. Twitch monetization is dog shit. Twitch takes 50%. Twitch is a terrible platform in general. Uh, I had to muck around with the stream just to get it to work. I couldn't put it out in 4K. It was a it was a faff. It was a pain in the backside. But actually, I really enjoyed it, and I really enjoyed hobbying along. And so I thought what we would do is we would bring it to YouTube and trial it on YouTube as a Monday evening stream. Now, if we end up with three viewers and it absolutely tanks the algorithm, I might have to rethink the decision. But that's why we're here anyway. We're going to give it a go. Now, big shout out, Adrian, Schooner, and Stick Monkey. Adrian, thank you for the one. Schooner, Stick Monkey, thank you for the five each. 11 members off the bat probably means... Oh, and the Cooney for 10 probably means, by the way... Cooney, thank you so much, man. What a hero. Probably means, by the way, this, this stream has already made more than two to three Twitch streams combined. Right? So, so already more worth it on YouTube as it stands. Um, at the moment, the top-down camera for hobbying, by the way... Shakes everywhere. Don't worry, it's because the light's not on. I put it on, look, whoop, you'll see. Right, it shakes everywhere, okay? If the YouTube content goes well, I'm going to mount the camera up on the wall and it will be rigid and it won't bounce around all over the place, okay? But Twitch is garbage and I didn't enjoy Twitch, but I did enjoy the actual content. So the plan from now is on Monday evenings, we bring this content to YouTube. We all get to hang out, hobby, have a conversation, have a discussion. It's the same as the rest of our content. I'm just making a model at the same time, right? cool the second change and if you look at the channel's homepage on youtube the banner has changed i also put a post up about this uh, on the community page i put it in discord and i put it on facebook timings are changing chat okay timings are changing and selfishly this is um <laughs> this is for me and a quality of life improvement for me and loose okay so monday tuesday wednesday thursday evening streams will all be going live at 7.30 p.m. UK time, okay? And that's because they'll finish on Mondays and Wednesdays at 9, and Luce and I can get to bed before midnight, despite the fact that we get up at half six in the morning because kids, right? So hopefully this situation starts to improve slightly because I get to go to bed before midnight because once the stream finishes at uh, currently 11 or whenever it's half 10, I have to wind down a little bit, chill out, have a shower, all that kind of stuff. And I don't get to bed till gone midnight, and then I, I finally relax about half midnight one and I get to sleep and then Lucy's alarm goes off at half six. And that's why my eyes literally look like someone's pissed in snow constantly, okay? So that's the first change. Wednesday, I'll go to 7.30. Monday, introduced at 7.30. But Fridays is also coming forward. Now, I spoke to the Thanes about this and they didn't want Fridays to go to 7.30 because it felt too early for 40k after dark. I am bringing it forward, but I'm only bringing it forward by an hour. So 40k after dark will start at 8.30 which means it will typically finish at 10 p.m., which is also a slight quality of life improvement. Also means if we overrun by half an hour, we overrun to half 10, and it's kind of better, right? It's kind of better. So the whole point is quality of life improvement for us in general. Um, I maybe feel a bit fresher, less burnt out all the time. But as a as a appeasing the, the chat gods, we introduce the extra stream on Mondays. Now, if you're into video gaming, VAG continues Wednesday daytime, Sunday evenings, okay? They don't change. We still get those streams 8 p.m. Sunday evenings and 10 a.m. Wednesday we do VAG, okay? That's not going to change. Um, but there'll be no more Twitch. Twitch is probably going to stop, right? What you can do if you really, really, really want to is you can fuck off to Twitch and give me a Twitch Prime sub anyway. I just won't be putting content out there. But that's entirely up to you. No pressure. I'd just rather the memberships here, okay? 
Does that all make sense? Is everybody happy? If you are happy, do the thing. Hit the like button for me, right? If you're happy with those plans, smash that like button. If you haven't already, hit subscribe. If you're not a subscriber, it's free for fuck's sake, right? Cost you nothing. Just smash that button for us. Uh, and then hit that bell notification icon if you want to be notified every single time we go live or drop a new video. Alternatively, if you want a more accurate notification tool to let you know when we go live, then think about becoming a member of the channel. In the Great Hall Discord server, there is a notification bot that as long as you select the right reaction role, because I don't want to just spam everyone all the time anyway, if you select the right reaction role every single time we go live for 40k or gaming content, it will notify you. And it's significantly more efficient at notifying you than YouTube is, okay? It's just quicker. Uh, it's more prompt. The amount of times YouTubers notify people just as, after the stream's finished. All right? So there you go. Uh, anyway, that being said, it took me the weekend to get over Friday night. Luce and I literally woke up on, Mon on Saturday morning and looked at each other and went, did that actually just happen? Did we actually do 1,105 members in a single evening stream? And I think Sunday we still couldn't quite believe it. It's a bit of an emotional weekend. You guys, absolutely incredible. So thank you so much for that. I don't think I don't think I have words to actually correctly gratify. I've paid load forward. Like I've, I, over the course of the last three days, have gifted... Uh, 20 members to three different channels that are my favorite because I like to pay it forward. I've told you this, I believe in karma, I like to try and pay it forward. Okay, I'm not greedy, it doesn't, I don't keep it off myself. So I've gifted memberships on three different channels because I want to pay it forward a little bit. It's not quite the same as the thousand, obviously, but we won't see that until April. Um, but words fail me for that generosity on Friday. It was incredible. And it, towards the end as well, it was a bit, I was a bit, you know, nearly got me. <clears throat> I'll pay for you to drink a brew and talk general normally, so I am happy to lob a few likes and beer tokens for new font. Thank you so much. I'm holy. You're a legend. I appreciate you. Um, you're all amazing. I've got my cup of tea ready to go. And what I thought I would focus on, so it's going to go bright. Boop. Super bright. What I'll do is I'll bring it down out of the camera line. Oh, technology is amazing, isn't it? And what I'm going to probably do today is work on this cheeky chappy here, right? Never built one of these new ones. Like a lot of the World Eaters content that was on Twitch, the second this thing came through, uh, I handed it over to Joe, and he built it because if I would have built it, we would have never got it ready, right? So, um, I might have a go at this at some point. Or we could just chat. The bonus for Mondays is, hobby's the intent, but we can just turn it into a talk stream if you want to, as well. Options, right? Options. Anyway, like I said, thank you, Adrian, for the one gifted to get us started. Schooner, thank you for the five. You're amazing. Stick Monkey, thank you for the five. You're amazing. Richard C, thank you for the five. You're incredible as well. Cooney, thank you for 10, man. How did it feel? If you're still in chat, the Cooney, how did it feel on Friday with that little cheeky raid we gave you? If you guys don't know, for the 145 people watching right now, if you're not interested in video game content, fingers and ears for 30 seconds, right? Cooney's a, a guy I got to know when I went on the little trip to London to meet my YouTube heroes, um, video game content creators, typically, right? And uh, I met Cooney there, and he's been streaming, and he lives the dream streaming, as we all do. But it's a grind, and we all know it's a grind. So I've been throwing people his way. If you haven't already, you like video game content, you like specifically Warzone content, uh, check out Cooney's channel. Um, I, I think he's gained a bunch of subs from us, which is amazing. But thank you so much for 10 gifted. You didn't need to do it. I assume that's because of Friday. You absolutely didn't need to do that, man. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. You're a hero. Love you, Liam. Love you, Brandon. In Liam's garden, watching through a window. We we'll have to keep you out there, Kyle, don't we? Loving this idea for Monday night. Hobby night. Currently hobbing along, finishing my Deathwing nights, ready for my game tomorrow night. Well, this is the plan, chat, as well, right? My plan is we carve out 90 minutes of time at the moment on a Monday night, and we all hobby along together. Now, I'm going to probably get less done than you guys, because I'll be talking to you as well. Caught me out with the 7.30, despite mentioning <laughs> it in fans and Discord. <laughs> Regardless, you sneaky sausage. <laughs> That's a you problem, Cat. Thanks for the five, dude. You're here, right? <laughs> so yeah, so I'm gonna do less hobbying probably because um, because you guys will talk to me and I want to talk back because it's important that I talk back. But I'll get some done. Um, for reference, if you if you didn't follow along on the Twitch content, I built I built twenty berserkers. I built two, a Lord of Juggernaut. I bought I built um, Lord of Vicarious. I built a Spartan. Um, I built some Deathwing Terminators. We've built quite a lot on chat so far, on stream so far. I'm still doing a little bit of work in the garden, to um, in the garden, in the garage, 
to get the air booth, airbrush booth set up, right? Once the airbrush booth is set up, I'll then start base coating some of this stuff. And what I did do, uh, if we go to top down, what I did do uh, yesterday, quite literally, was add um, some mud. So what I use, if you're unaware of this stuff, this stuff is incredible. I showed this to, to um, Kyle recently. A, a Vallejo thick mud acrylic. Now I've specifically got European mud. Uh, doesn't really matter if you're going to paint over it, but this stuff, actually, if you think about it, right, here is a base model with no paint on it whatsoever. It It's pretty convincing as mud. You could, you could just leave it, right? It's very good stuff. Uh, what I like to do is I like to put it on, cover the, put a little bit on the bottom of the robes, cover some of the, the boots and stuff, uh, and then uh, let it set, and it goes hard. So I guess it's a little bit spongy, but it predominantly goes quite hard. And then we'll spray over it and then we'll use some dry brushes and stuff to bring the texture out and make it look more like uh, the rest of the model, I guess. So we put it on um, the companions. We got it on as Modi, etc. So sometime in the near future, we'll be getting some base colors on these. Um, but like, I've, if for example, if you look on this one here, you'll see a little gap there, which I want to fill before I paint it. Can you see the little black gap in there? I want to fill that with some stuff before I get some paint on it. So this is why I'm checking for gaps making sure there's no errors before I then put the airbrush on, okay? So that's what we that's what we will be doing soon with painting. I've also, chat, and this is just because I wanted to, to do something different. This is after speaking to James, right? I've, we've built him because what a model he is, Ragnar, right? We built Ragnar. We also built Dante. Don't worry about his missing head, right? We also built Dante. I need to get the basing material on him because these are two models that I've wanted to paint for ages. And Otero, when I went up there, said, well, why haven't you? This wasn't my armies. He says so. So there you go. We've got them to paint as well. All right? So that's the plan. That's what we're going to be getting. I need to find his head now. That's what we're going to be going through over the course of the next... Um, oh, also, this guy, Lazarus, by the way. What a kit. How did I not know how good he was? Oh, I found Dante's head. We found we found Dante's head. Here it is. We're, we're good. Okay. Beautiful. Evening, you beautiful people. Desperately trying to finish a Chaos Marine Combat Patrol for a friend's 50th. Oh, great 50th. Ben Warhammer. I might do that for my 50th. Got loads of hobby done Saturday night. It's amazing. I love to pay it forward also. Uh, you are a great gent. Hopefully, we'll sync up IRL. The Great Hall was 100% me. Absolutely. Uh, the rig was amazing. I, I was lost for words. I didn't sleep until 4 a.m. due to excitement. <laughs> Uh, I don't sleep to 4 a.m. often, but that's just because of old man wheeze. So, are you are you coming to hobby too? Double bubble here, chat. You get you're gonna get both of us. Have you considered building all the models you want for World Eaters and playing Army of Grey one night? Yes, not on stream though, Brandon. Yeah, I'm I'm currently kind of going through that right now. Um, also, if you were one of those people that were here when I built Lord Invocatus and said that he was he was off at an angle and there was a big gap on the base, we fixed the problem. I did put it on, I think I put it in Thanes. But if you were here for Twitch when we built this guy, what I worked out is I had the guy, um, the, what's his name? Dark Apostle. So he, because of the angle of the juggernaut for Lord Invocatus, it goes off to the right and it had this big gap here on the base. I don't know how we filled it. So he filled it with this little chap here, there, which just works, quite honestly. This little cultist at the front carrying a skull. It's amazing, right? So we'll get some paint on these guys at some point soon as well. He is just blue tack on for now for painting purposes. There you go. So anyway, if you are hobbying tonight as well, chat, let me know what you're hobbying on. Old man, you're a spring chicken. I'm not. Considering I'm painting skills of a hyperactive two-year-old, I'll take anything, says Jaco. Building my Tomb Kings. Oh, well, box so many skellies and I love it. I built the Bone Dragon, mostly. Got bored. Uh, isn't that releasing? You don't have to collect an army to paint a cool mini you're interested in. Yeah, it is very. But I, I, it was a weird conversation with James. He was like, I was like, oh, I really wanted to paint this guy. He's like, well, haven't you? So, well, because I don't collect the army, he's like, so. That's just a fair point. Why do I need to collect the army? Dark opossum. Yeah, he's a dark possum. That's what he is. That's 100% what he is. Anywho, I am going to uh, get building, I think. I'm going to get this box busted open and start putting the kit together. Um, if I keep chatting away and I'll keep looking at chat and I'll keep reading chat as usual. And Luce will probably have chat up as well. Uh, but also, if you desperately want to grab my attention because I'm getting too into it and I'm concentrating too much, obviously you can stick it on 
a big colorful postcode postcard for us as well difference with this over twitch is we have super chats and because it's amy she'll read it out and she'll interrupt us right so you, you've got that option too uh, i have set up a members goal for new stream gang on monday but i am conscious as well uh what happened on friday all right so don't feel too obliged obviously just a a little bit obliged right a little bit obliged are you when you've moved your mic let me know because I'll, I'll forget to unmute you otherwise okay i just got 100 goals to build for next month's team event in scotland treat yourself all right <clears throat> let's get into it shall we uh i need my glue that's a good start glue check uh scalpel check snips is the bit i'm struggling with because i cut something off my finger earlier i don't know where i put them Hmm, well. I'll be honest with you, chat. I'm going to struggle without them. I literally had them earlier because I cut something off my, one of my fingers. Oh, they're right here. We have them. Snips. Good. The tools. Cody, thank you for the gifted. The tools, any hobbyist needs. Scalpel, pretty blunt. Okay, this is for... This is. This feels weird because it's YouTube. It's the first time. We're going to be a bit more like baby city to start with. We have a, bl we have a blunt scalpel. And this blunt, and it is really blunt, look, this blunt scalpel is to clean mold lines and get rid of uh, extra sprue flash. All right, we have a nice set of snips. These are, I think these are Tamiya, um, so they're pretty good. Uh, this is for obviously cutting out the sprue. Revel glue, um, because this stuff is incredible. Um, and if you watched the Siege podcast last week, you'll know how I clear my little glue sticks out. All right, Revel glue. And then obviously our kit. I'm going to get on with it. Uh, because it's Demon Princes, we have fancy bases for the world eaters. We are good to go. You be careful. No, 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 it's fine. Honestly, like I said, blunt ones, but this is, these are blunt. In here, this is my box of sharp scalpels that sit in a box that sometimes I struggle to get into, which is important when you've got children. Uh, these are the, are the sharp scalpels in here um, and the fresh blades in here, look. And they're the ones where if I did the same thing, it would just go through my fucking hand. So we're not gonna we're gonna keep them locked away in a little box off to one side whilst we're building these. Okay, Cody, thank you for the gifted. You're a legend. Connor Ed, thank you for five gifted, you hero. That is 32 people in the new stream gang. Are you done? You didn't tell me. I told you to tell me. Um Everyone I'm, say I'm hi, Luce. Everyone say hi, Luce. I just pull out the nozzle and light it. Yeah, that's what I do. I've got a lighter just for it, Leon, basically. Here we go. Right. So do not be fooled, 40k fans. Although it says Age of Sigma Demon Prince, um, and that's typically where you'll find it in the um, in the shop sections for certain places like Element, for example. It is a 40k variant with armor and a backpack, etc. Um, so you have options. You can do... There's limited options if you want more than one for 40k, but we're going to make it work for us, okay? Cool. Got to say that Gluleum has is the best. It is, absolutely. Hi, Luce. Hi, Luke. Hi, Luce. Hi, Luce. Hi, Luce. Hi, Luce. Hi, Luce. Everyone say hello. Hello. So, I think the majority of it, we do one to two for every single kit, right? And then we pick where we're going. So one to two, and then five to eight. Okay, I'm into it. We're going to build a sword and I'm going to build an axe. Hey, up, me duck. Hey, Daryl, how's it going? You get your suntan lotion out now, you're this, this far south. What army is this prince for? It's my world eaters, Mr. The Eternal Crusader. So we've been building, uh, as I showed earlier, we've been building lots of world eaters on these custom bases from Unreal Wargaming uh, for an all, like, a non, a non Angron world eaters list. That's the plan. Okay. Please, please, please paint this guy's up assemblies. Why, Stanky? I can't make any promises. Why? Why do I need to paint it in some assemblies? Challenge not accepted. I think I'm just going to go for it. I've got to start here anyway. I need to hear more about this Nana Bacon. You don't. You don't. Banacon? <laughs> it's not a name. 
baking. It's the same as um, me and James when we bake with white chocolate because white chocolate's really tricky. Um, we've called it knocklet because it doesn't behave the same as actual chocolate. And I really want to learn how to make blondies, which is the white chocolate version of brownies, but because you're using knocklet. Not chocolate. Not chocolate. I I didn't have any interest in the banana bacon, I'm not going to lie to you. Well, I had to swap out garlic powder for onion powder, which definitely changed the recipe. And I've got some garlic that is going to seed, so I might either plant it or see if I can make garlic powder myself. Maybe. <clears throat> Fucks up assemblies. Exactly, Leon, yeah. The only thing I really ever sub assembly is backpacks and heads. That's about all I sub assembly. Sometimes some other bits, depending. But I've had too many bad experiences with sub assemblies. Like, I was always told sub assembly Mortarian don't glue the wings on when I did him uh, years ago when he first came out. Have you ever tried gluing those wings on? Try gluing those wings on when it's not painted, it's plastic and using plastic cement. They don't go on easily then, right? It's even worse when you've painted it and you don't want to ruin your paint job, right? Did some more derpy dread building at lunchtime. He's such a good special boy. He's an awful king. Don't lie to me, Sean. Don't lie to me. The Derrideo is an abortion, all right? Always has been, always will be. I specifically hate the fact they put the join right down the center of the chest as well. Hey, have a gap. You should garlic powder and banana bread. No, banana bacon bowl. It's where you take the skin of... Right, get this, chat. Right, this is where you're instantly <laughs> going to lose interest. It's where you take the skin of a banana and you try and turn it into bacon. Well, I mean, if you say it like that, it sounds ludicrous. You haven't gone through the entire thing. It's pretty ludicrous. What's what's the overarching premise of banana bacon? What do you What do you use? What to make it? Yeah, what do you use to make banana bacon? What's the key ingredient to make banana bacon? Banana skin. Yeah, and what's it called? Banacon. Banana bacon, exactly. So <laughs> well, I've called I've it got, banacon. I've got the two key points there, Luce. <laughs> there is no hiding. I it just, is blasphemy, I just absolutely. Hate... Afternoon from the States. Hey, Sindri, how's it going, dude? I have a thing of, I love food, and I love how flavours go together and why some flavours don't go together and why, for example, the white chocolate thing, I had no idea. I'd baked with white chocolate for ages and it always tasted a bit meh. Whereas brownies always seemed to really hit the spot. And I never made the connection that, well, dark chocolate's actually chocolate and white chocolate, I thought it was chocolate, didn't know it's technically not. So it doesn't behave the same at all. When, what makes it not chocolate? Has it got no cocoa in it? Um, I think that's it because Cocoa is the brown colour, I think. So white chocolate not having any brown in it, it's I, I guess it's strictly not chocolate. So the um, the burning point is different. How it interacts with other flavors is different. Ogamore Tribe Heroes for a war cry tournament I want to attend in April locally. Can I represent the hall if it's not 40k? It's, we're not, Adrian. We're not locked to 40k, mate. The more of you that represent the hall, the better. You can represent the hall if it's bolt action. I, also I think she's got stuck in a loop because I changed screens. Uh, I also don't like putting any kind of food in the bin. I'm currently doing complete sub-assemblies for 10 Terminators that are going on eBay in the next few days. Would not recommend it. <laughs> I... Okay, does she break now if I'm in top-down for Super Chats? How do I fix that problem? Maybe we... Right, let me have a think. I need to think about how I fix this problem live now, chat. I wonder if I... Do I have the... I don't have alerts in here. So let's take the alerts. Copy it. Let's go to top down. Let's 
paste it and we're gonna reference it and we're gonna put it in this corner i'm gonna make it a bit bigger because why not and then we'll see what happens when the next super jet comes in, we'll see if this fixes the problem or not if we have the alerts referenced on top down cam interesting oh no i've got glue on the leg whoops it's because i was too busy fucking around with obs Hope to build a percent because buy a big daddy. Just got my kill rig today. Good man. Good man. Is Big Bad Peter Gaming in chat? Only because he asked on Friday, I think it was, who's playing who, and I didn't answer him this week. And uh, I looked today, and I'm playing Joe on both days, right? Now, currently, Joe is down to play Demons on... Uh, Tuesday. We have a lot of demons now, by the way, chat. Uh, and he's down to play um, Drakari on Thursday. And I want to know what you guys want me to put against him. Okay. Forgot you were doing this tonight. Are you suggesting you're late, week, man? There you go, big bad game. It's me and Joe both nights. Kyle's on the deck because everyone else is away. I need Paddy back. I miss Paddy. White chocolate is just sugar and cream, is it? So it doesn't have any cocoa. Okay. I passed my Microsoft certified DevOps engineer expert exam today. Congrats, Leon. Well done. Oh, that sounds good. It sounds far too clever. Everyone say congratulations to Leon. What legend. This is what I mean. This hobby attracts clever people. I, that... I'm not going to lie to you, chat. I'm not going to lie to you. I barely, I barely slept last night. We had a loose night for some reason. A terrible... Fun fact, I spoke to Carl today. He's like, I had a terrible night of sleep last night as well. Is it a full moon? Maybe it was atmospherics. <gasps> Who knows? Could be. I always sleep really, really deep if it rains overnight. Yeah. So uh, he had a bad night. So maybe it was just a thing that was going on. Mm -hmm. um, but I slept terribly last night. So I actually vegetated most of the day. I've actually been quite busy. I've done some content planning. Done some ho home home DIY stuff. Um, there's the, the first set of operator skins is now in the Call of Duty store for Warhammer 40k. It's exciting. So... How's Paddy's course been? It sounds disgusting. I, I met him last Sun, yeah, last Sunday. I met him last Sunday for breakfast, uh, locally, um, where he handed the demons over. Um, and I, I, th I don't think he hates it, but I think it's a bit of a grind. Done with it now. What are you and Mister the Kyle bringing to Thanes this weekend? Uh, my car. <laughs> oh, we fixed it. Okay, we just needed to reference it in the top down. Okay, we fixed it. Good. Thank you so much, uh, Demogorgon, for the five. You're a legend. Uh, I'm not planning on bringing anything. I'm planning on just bringing myself and mingling with you people. If I'm honest with you. We are, to be fair, Kev, as well, we're, we're one-daying it, mate. So we're, I'm, I'm getting up a... <laughs> I'm getting up at five on Saturday morning to go pick Kyle up to drive all the way to um, to drive all the way to to Element to hang out with you people, and then when you all bugger off for your meal at six thirty in the evening or whenever it is, uh, I'm going to be driving all the way back home with Kyle as well. That's my plan. I already remember why I stopped this project last time. <laughs> Why? I bought this book ages ago, and it's how to make cuddly toys, but you knit them. Yeah. And it's a deceiving book, because on the face of it, the pattern looks fairly uh, friendly. But now I remember. I remember. I remember. I remember. Because you know when you, you put something away, and then you come across it years later, and you go, why didn't I ever finish that? I'll try it again because years have passed now. My skill set's more established. I've got better patience. I know when to walk away. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah. I remember. Remember Star Wars? I remember. 
Kim pits up at my Vibro on my home. It's n it's not on the way at all, though. <laughs> Thanks, Carl. I'd like to say, if it was literally on the way, I'd have been like, yeah, okay, maybe. And then we wouldn't have anyway. But I said, yeah, okay. But if it's actually not on the way at all, then I'm sorry, mate. I'm going to come home and vegetate. Ready to rest up so I can get prepped for Vag on Sunday. Drinking a fox monster. I'm, I'm kind of coming off monster. I don't mind it every now and again, actually, to be fair. But <coughs> I don't know why we need monster for long drives nowadays. What happened to good old-fashioned alcohol? Alex, thank you for the gifted membership. You're a legend. We are up to 33. 33. Uh, what do I call it? New stream gang. <laughs> oh, I'm delirious today, chat. I'm not used to this Monday night streaming malarkey, despite the fact we did it loads on Twitch. Twitch was easy, though. Twitch was a lot less pressure, I think. But it was also a bit shit. You hated Twitch, didn't you? Why did you hate it? Uh, too busy. The screen was too busy. From a from a like a viewer perspective. Yeah. And I think it's just YouTube is the blueprint for me, so I don't like. Change. <laughs> I don't like change. Dark angels versus diamonds, corn versus dark Eldar. Hey, we can do that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Twitch was just. I mean, it was an experiment. We did the experiment. But how the fuck? That goes on like that. What? Like that? Like that? Well, this isn't fucking confusing at all. Like that? I think like that. So yeah, Twitch, Twitch was an experiment. Evan, thank you for the gift tip. <clears throat> um, Twitch was an experiment, right? And Twitch... It, if they hadn't have offered... I've, I've been straight up and honest about this for the longest time. If they hadn't offered uh, a monthly payment for us to stream on Twitch, I probably wouldn't have given it a go, in all seriousness, okay? So they, they had this thing, chat, I'll be open with you people. They had this, they had this thing called an accelerator program. And their accelerator program was, we're going to financially reward you for streaming on the platform for three months. And after three months of streaming on the platform, you will have generated a big enough audience that you won't need our financial support anymore. And you'll want to continue uh, streaming on the platform. Um, the money that was made, uh, uh, what would you organically, I guess, through Twitch, and so not through the, the accelerator program, was a little over 10% of what they were paying. Uh, and I mean a little over 10% of what they were actually paying. So uh, they, they also said as part of the Accelerator program, right, this is, this, I feel like this is probably just like Twitch through and through. You'll get access to a special Discord and you'll get all these tips and tricks and guides and helps and et cetera, et cetera. And I got a grand total of fuck all until like a week or two weeks before the end of the program where I finally had a phone call with someone who was like, oh, how are you finding it? I was like, oh, you've decided to touch base three months in. Thanks. And that's why this stream exists, basically. Thank you, Tony Winnick, for the gifted your hero. That's why this stream exists, basically, because um, I was like, well, I don't want to stop the hobbying stuff because I actually quite enjoy it, but but fuck Twitch. If we didn't do um, this this evening, I wouldn't be able to empty my cup because I would I would feel like my time could be better spent for lack of a better phrase, servicing the family in some in some way. So and that's into the stream chat. <laughs> this family needs serviced. So um not being forced to sit here, but having feeling like it gives someone else purpose to sit here is in a roundabout way allowing me to empty my cup. Which is ridiculous. Not ridiculous at all. I don't think it's ridiculous. It I, I, ridiculous. If we if we get ten more people, 
that actually get some hobby stuff out on a Monday evening because yeah. of these streams, and I think it's successful. Will you be investing in the new crew kits, Liam? Uh, thoughts on them? The box is phenomenal. The kits are amazing. The kits are gorgeous. I love them. I have two armies to work on. I don't want to work on a third. If I didn't have two armies to work on, I would probably have invested in them because they're so pretty. So pretty. <laughs> I can't wait for her to read that one out. Me? No, not you. Amy, our reader of Super Chats. What's up, little monster? What do you want? You're tired? Me? Yeah, I'm tired. Why? I don't understand. Why do you want to watch TV in Army? <laughs> you can watch Family Guy in the Lounge. But you can watch it in the lounge. Benny Boos, the same I feel bad for Liam. Liam having to prep for his once a week evag on Sundays. Poor guy. On a separate note, what do you think about War Dogs and WE? The once a week vag, White Rabbit, is, is, you know, sometimes that's 51 times more a year than most men get anyway. So don't feel too bad for me. Once a week vag is great. It's not even once a week vag either because I get vag on Wednesdays as well. Don't I, babe? What? <laughs> vag. What about? I get it twice a week. On a Wednesday? On a Sunday, yeah. Right. Yeah. She's looking at me like this is a trap. Uh, War Dogs and World Eaters, yeah, works. Uh, it gives you something that I think the World Eaters can lack a little bit. Um, so, you know, 100% War Dogs and World Eaters work. <laughs> Why did you sigh? No reason. Joe said this model was a pig to build and he wasn't lying. Oh my god, Mr. Sven Holio, thank you so much for the 10 gifted. You're a legend. 10 gifted is incredible. Up to 45 of the new stream gang. Uh yeah, um Wall Dogs and World Eaters work. Um because they, they give you some they give you some decent armor. I think they're better than Mauler Fiends. Um I like them. I think they look cool. I think you can make the World Eaters themed as well, which is quite quite cool. Oh my god, this is fucking falling apart. We need to get this on before this whole thing falls apart here. Joe told me these are a pick to put together and I didn't believe him and I should have done. Hashtag always listen to Joe. Look that for a weird cow for a Chester. Who, who designed these things? Honestly. Joe's on old world stuff. He has so much to do. He does have a lot to do, actually. I'm back in Heresy tonight. I've got kit bash signs of Horus. Reavers to paint, but I've been drawn into building the Horus Heresy Assault Squad. Love the kit the poses it offers. Tied up Dempsey. You and me both out of your ears, yeah. I have loads of shapers and about 80 crew. If I can afford the box, I may get it. The crew box is lovely. And I saw Leo, I saw you say, you a bit of towel. It's not towel, it's crew. That makes it okay. Right?
Right, this thing is, um, this doesn't go together the way I thought it would, which is interesting. Hey, Steven. What's your opinions on the new Lehman Rustification of the Crisis? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Hey Tom, how's it going dude? Well, Tom Chris, which one are you? I was thinking of combining a Demon Prince with Oceanic Bone Reaper, the big ones, making a skeleton style corn Demon Prince, love it, sounds cool, into it. Crew are 100% more appealing than Votan, I mean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the torso and the legs are an utter cunt. The rest of the video goes, it's better though. It needs to. It's a bit emotional already, to be fair. Come on, Ed. Mr. The Ed. A scale of one to horrible, how horrible was it? Pretty horrible. I definitely remember why I quit this project. And it's impossible to make it look tidy. Plus I've used self-colour changing wool, so... Why do I do this to myself? I don't know. I don't know. Greatest cock block in marriage is small children. No <laughs> vague for me. Saying that I am making a Harry Potter's book nook for the eldest instead of quality wife time. Aww. I love a What's book What's a book nook? A book nook is like, it's like a, a scene of something or it's like a doll's house room that... Like a diorama? A uh, yeah, and it, it's a gap in your bookshelf, and it can be a bookend or just a cool little gap in your bookcase. That's sometimes there's lights in there. It it can be the setting of a favourite. So maybe um, the Shire, you could do a book nook of inside one of those houses in the Shire. Book nooks are great. Some people use them as night lights as well. That sounds cool. I'd have a Christmas. Small children are in fact a giant cock block, though you are in fact correct, yes. They sound like a great idea until you have one. No matter how hard I tried, Luce wouldn't let me put it up for adoption. Nope. Yeah, these aren't fun, Ed, at the moment. This is, a, this is a more difficult kit than I anticipated. Not that it's hard, it's just more difficult than I expected. The coolest book nook I saw online was a scaled down version of the bedroom it was in. So it was like Inception, but <laughs> book nook of Persian. Leon said Liam's going to have to build a book nook now or no badge for him. Mm. <laughs> I've got a 24 year old that still lives at home so it's not just small kids. Kick him out, Scroto. Or her. No, I, I'm, I'm definitely... I've never sort of look forward to them moving out anyway and I'm, I'm not wishing the time away but I am it's it's looking impossible for our children to get out into the world on their own it's just too unaffordable so well I mean to be honest with you all joking aside it's, it's too hard at the moment for us to get a fucking mortgage so I'm I'm definitely it's only gonna get worse for them I'm not gonna be sad at all if we have a 24 
Uh, Daryl says, both mine moved out. Still cop block somehow. <laughs> little tushy on show. This is, um, hmm. It does cost too much. It's fucking extortion at the world nowadays. There's a, I've been um, social media recently showing me loads of like uh, graphs over time, like average cost of living versus average increase in wage, or like average rental cost versus increase in salaries, etc. It's just depressing, <laughs> to say the very least. There's a a clip of um, there's a radio show called LBC, I think, and Carol Vorderman was on there. I don't know what day she was on, but the clip's gone onto social media. And a guy calls up to take part in like a caller's section of the show and he asks Carol Vorderman a question that prompts her to work out what's been the daily increase of the nation's debt. And when she worked it out and she sort of looks up and she goes, I can't work out where that money's gone. And it's how she works it out, it's it's like the something something trillions since David Cameron was in the seat. And the way she words it, it does make you go, where has that gone? That's not that's not a small amount of money. I think we could tumble down a dangerous politics rabbit hole though, unfortunately. Yeah. Everyone's either renting or a landlord. Renters can't save enough for a deposit and landlords use the profit to buy more. Yeah. Well, there is... Um, yeah. So there's a couple of mortgage companies out there now, Carl, that have started to... Uh, take renting history as uh, evidence for lending and not require and do zero deposit mortgages. Um, so if you can, um, if you can uh, prove that you've got a strong history, can you use Space Wolves again? I can. Bombardment. Bombardment. I can actually. Yeah. We only didn't. I only didn't. I only didn't use Space Wolves last week because. Um, we wanted to show off the thousand suns because it's relevant for the, the siege. Not last week, week before, because the siege interview. So I can I can bust out the space wolf, I reckon. Um, yeah, so there's a there is a few companies out there now that are starting to look at um, your rental history, and uh, if you can provide evidence of renting um, and solidly paying, never missing, all that kind of stuff. You know, the, the typical kind of kind of stuff. They'll offer you zero deposit mortgages. Um, which is quite interesting to us specifically because we've been renting you know over a decade never defaulted no, never missed a payment i paid my rent early it was it was always one of those things no matter how tight money was do not miss the rent yeah i think ours is due on like the 15th so i think my rent this comes out on the 11th what day? yeah today um because i'm like well then if it comes over a weekend i still it still goes out on time so our landlord gets our rent early every single month What um what country is it where there's no private landlords? Every single rented. I think, it's, I think well, some people in chat might be able to help us, but I think it's somewhere in uh, Scandinavia, isn't it? Where isn't there a country in Scandinavia where all the houses are state owned? Is it Norway. I don't know. Grain train, thank you for five gifted. What a legend. It's a quiet night on Friday. I'm kind of glad. Up to fifty, they were halfway there. You sing the song now, Luce. Whoa! <laughs> Halfway up the stairs. That is when I was out of breath. Whoa! Cutting all my hair. I'm thinking about doing that later. Yeah. I. 230 people in chat. Let's see what they think. I'm thinking about a heavy beard trim. I don't mean off. No one needs to see my chin. <laughs> Plural. No one needs to see my chins. Um, but I'm thinking about like down like here. Uh, okay. It, well, it would give it a good cut for like your split ends and stuff. Don't veterans of the UK get mortgage assistance? We do in the US called a VA loan. No money down. I don't think so. I mean, maybe we do. 
we're not it's not particularly well communicated to us iceberg as to you know what we do and don't get as veterans in the uk either to be fair so uh the white rabbit the house i'm in now was bought for 180,000 us dollars back in 2016 now it's worth 448,000. <laughs> i mean that's a return isn't it that's mad <laughs> Good, isn't that? It's it's when you see little two up, two downs, and no disrespect, these people have made a lovely home for themselves. But when you see the value of that, and you kind of go, eh? Give me a little Valrak. He didn't have a beard in the first place. Is there any chance you can suggest some nice places to live between Bournemouth and Southampton? You moving down this way, Kai? Maps, Google Maps. Chilworth. Uh, Brockenhurst. Uh, it depends on uh, Ooh, right okay if we're, if we're doing the hosts it depends then, uh, a little bit on your i'll be honest with you kai Uli. this is good this is good because this is literally down around the corner from us right it depends a lot on um on how do i put this nicely so between southampton and bournemouth is a big old fucking area called the new forest right we live we loose and i live on the edge of the new forest the new forest is fucking gorgeous and depending on where you would like the sort of place you'd like to live um it has it all so there's little like villages there's really remote there's little towns you've obviously got the city of southampton itself what it also has however is skyrocketing costs so if you lived somewhere um this side of the water from southampton like where i used to grow up hive or holbury or marchwood it's not ridiculous totten where we are now it's not ridiculous it's okay um, and they're like little little towns, um, but you can go into Brockenhurst, Lindhurst, um, areas like that. Limington to a point, maybe not so much. Um, and they are, I mean, Lindhurst specific. I'd move to Lindhurst in a heartbeat. I just can't afford to, if I'm, if I'm honest. I with think you. I think to get in the new forest, you either need to have the house that's been in the family for generations. Yeah. Or you are one of these superstars that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, if you want a big sized house in the in, in the forest, somewhere like Lindhurst, we we are talking millions, doesn't, quite literally. Doesn't Johnny Depp now live? I don't know. Some like some massive star. I was looking at Totten. Okay, so in so Totten, I I can I know a lot about because it's exactly where Lucy and I live. Um, so that tells you a story straight away. It's nice enough that we've chosen to live here and raise our children in Totten. Um, so I, if you want to like, if you are serious about Totten, message me privately on like Discord or whatever, um, or. I think are you were saying in WhatsApp, um, and I can help you out there. Totten, Totten as an area, I think is for me personally is the perfect all rounder. Um, <coughs> what I mean by that is, uh, Totten is 15 minutes from Southampton to get into the city centre, um, but also is far enough out of all the shitty crime areas that that normally exist on the outskirts of a of a main city. Um, so you have that bonus. We can walk for 10 to 15 minutes and be in the New Forest. We can walk for 10 to 15 minutes and be on the Solent on the coast. Uh, we have great access to the motorway. We have a train station. Like, so Totten's the, the perfect in between. Um, house prices are high comparatively with the UK standard, but they're low compared to being in the forest. Um, and there's some really nice little areas around Totten. There is a couple of shit areas, though, which is why I say message me because you don't want to be in the shit areas. All right. The thing with living in the forest as well, it sounds really lovely and idyllic until you find out that there is no option for internet. Well, yeah. yeah and that's, that's when you go, thing. what? It's 2024. What do you mean you don't have the internet? There's a, there's a few places <laughs> There's a few places where we've been like, oh, we could move there. And then you start looking into um, the cost of council tax and the cost of amenities and uh, access for lease because you're not driving. Yeah, okay, some of these are fine. Then you check internet speeds. You're like, nope. <laughs> no, no, no. Then I'd be uploading streams at Hellstorm quality, and I don't want to be doing that, so. Whoa! Eating all the pears. <laughs> oh, Mr. The Carl lives in Totten, too. I forgot about that, yeah. Kyle, what's, what rhymes with prayer? Hair. I've done that one. Stairs done that one. Hair's just done that one. Strongly considering this big beard trim. I think... The other thing as well is this at the moment flat like I said sticking out the bottom of my, of, my, of my helmet it looks ridiculous but I also think I haven't trimmed it properly for a while so I probably need to refresh it a bit yeah good, a good haircut helps your yeah yeah. yeah otherwise your split ends start travelling up the hair 
and then you have to do a really big haircut. Split ends isn't really something I've ever, I've ever had to worry about, supposed to be. You've probably got split ends in your beard because you use your beard straightener. Yeah. Which is yeah. heat. Tell everyone my uh, my beauty routine. Oh no, he uses a beard straightener. Exclamation mark beard. Use the discount code exclamation mark beard and then I get kicked back. Whoa, scaring all the bears. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we are either heading towards York or south. I'm favouring the south as it's warmer just. It's a lot warmer down there actually. We haven't seen snow for fucking ages. If snow is important to you, don't move down there. We, don't, we just don't get it. I thought scurvy was kiwis. That's why there was a whole kiwi thing. Neaten up, but keep the length. No, I think I'm just gonna. I think I'm just gonna go for it, and then you're all gonna fucking shout at me, and then I'll remind you it's my face, and you'll be like, no. Oh, someone's giving you loads of words there, Lise. Fair, dear, fair. Jawfin sorted you right out, didn't he? Ah, layer. Lair? Lair, L A I R. Lair. Mayor, rare, tear, where. Layer and mayor. Maybe not. Layer and mayor. Boop, boop, boop. I can't believe we've got 230 people watching a hobby stream. Well chuffed. Well chuffed, chat. Whoa! Washing underwear! <laughs> can you hear Ben in the next room? Yeah. <laughs> Your backing singer. Yeah, I can hear him, yeah. He is my little backing singer. Martin chops some stick out of the helmet. Strong. Strong. You painting next Monday? It depends if I get the booth, the booth set up. I've got loads of stuff still to build for now. The, the, the difference or the big thing for me at the moment, if I'm honest with you, Wee Man, is I'm just making hobby progress, which for the longest time I didn't make any hobby progress whatsoever. So just making progress is a, actually a big deal for me, to be honest with you. I'm just kind of happy, just kind of pootling along at the moment. We love a good poodle, don't we, Luce? A poodle? And, uh, yeah, we love a good poodle. I need to watch Vikings again, actually. Oh, hang on. Ray's come out with one. Whoa! The mayor is in his lair! <laughs> oh, no. That's enough of that now, chap. We're done. We're done with Lucy's solos. Daryl, it's like Bon Jovi is in the room. <laughs> Shut up, Daryl. You're mean to me. Be glad you're in your hotel room, mate. Stu Will, thank you for 10 more gifted, you hero. We are on 60% of Monday night's goal. I set a low, well, I say I set a low goal target. I think most channels would consider 100 a high goal target, but I set a low goal target for, for Monday because of how fucking generous you lot were on, on Friday. I said to them, Lisa, when we started, we both woke up on Saturday morning and were like, did that, was that actually a thing? Did that happen? Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that last person who gifted membership. I couldn't read that if I tried. Thank you so much, Stu. You're a legend. I'm such a serial flash cleaner here. And half the time, I, I then glue the bit on and you can't even see the bit I've just cleaned. But I have to clean it. Have to clean it. Hands up if you're a serial flash cleaner. Oh, they're all trying to sing fucking songs now. Hmm. Bum, bum, bum. They mentioned your Friday stream on Titans. Adrian could not believe it. Oh, so he saw it and he didn't say hello. I couldn't believe it, to be honest with you. If the rest of March then continues to be a normal month and doesn't suddenly slow down because of Friday, 
we are set to have our a record month on the channel. Which I we said this on the Siege podcast. Like every time anything happens or I do anything, it's always all, all you want to do is be better than the last time. 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 So March better than February. February better than January. January better, better than December. Some of it's harder than the yeah, others. January was not better than December. It's difficult for that to actually be a thing. Um, painting models, right? When you paint one space marine, make sure it's last, better than your last space marine. That's the key, okay? And that's, you know, it's what we try and do here as well. Where does this little bit go here then? How does this go on? Joe wasn't wrong. This is a fucking pig. Figured that out. I need to get some biscuits for Daryl for tomorrow for Daryl. What biscuits? Do you, what biscuits should I get Daryl for tomorrow, Luce? I want to count him. I see a lot of crazy shit online about crime or riots in London and UK. You guys experiencing any of this or seeing it? Seems like things are getting bad. I don't think things are any different to what they've been for the last I don't know how long, to be honest with you, what but I haven't We live in the in the sheltered south coast, if I'm honest. So so far, touch wood. Um we've ex we personally have experienced none of it. Um it's been quite chill. But there's a lot of stuff going on in the world in general though, right? So, mm. the world's a bit of a terrifying, shitty place right now. Actually, when we watch the news in the morning, it doesn't mention it. It does. I, uh, yeah, I just try, like, I say this, we've said this on stream a million times before, and I'll say it again, uh, you know. Um, I try and be the best human being I can be, and I try and positively impact the people that I, I interact with every day and if i can do that we're doing something right and if everybody did that if everybody did that then the world would be a better place um unfortunately people don't that's just the way it is uh, and it's a shame and uh, the human human's worst enemy is humans always has been always probably will be um but i just try and each day just try and be you know 10 percent better than or one even one percent better than yesterday uh, try and positive, positively impact everybody that I meet. You know, try and make Lou smile. Try and make the kids giggle. Try and make Joe Kyle smile. That's the thing, you know. That's the thing. That's all we're trying to do. Brom just has a permanent grin. So you, you yeah, Brom always smiles. I thought it was wind for a while. Yes. So, first you want to be Mario for your birthday. <laughs> Okay, but you wanted to be Mario, so are we not being Mario anymore? And then you wanted to be a Leonardo, so you don't want to be Mario or Leonardo? You want to be Hawkmoth? It depends what time of day it is in his birthday list. Let's add it to the list, and then when we get closer, we'll have a chat about it. Not right now, because your birthday's still far away. <laughs> Do you know what he said to Jay? He was like, I'm going to be Mario, and then you can be Luigi. And James said, no, I'm not being Luigi, Ben. It's your birthday. I'm not dressing up for your birthday. You can dress up. I don't want to dress up. And then Ben looked at him and said, that can be my present to me, that you dress up as Luigi. Wow. <laughs> Where's he learned the manipulation from, Luce? <laughs> James went, nice try. <laughs> Not happening. <laughs> Where's he learned that from? Eh? 
I don't think there even is a hawk moth costume. Oh, there probably isn't, no. Who's hawk moth? I have no idea. Um, and he would also like uh, Wallace and Gromit's electro trousers from uh, the wrong trousers. He would like a pair of those for his birthday. FYI. He's, um, he's, his birthday's July. He was quite a way off. Got the tail on. Does anyone march for Mac Rag? No. I did actually con I did actually strongly consider Adrian buying uh, Chief Librarian Tagarius just for this month to build and start to paint on the March streams because March for Mac Rag. Just because I thought it'd be kind of cool and interesting. Um, but I decided, nah, fuck that. <laughs> nah, not interested. And so I wanted to do Demon Prince instead. Because fuck all the Marines. Leonardo for the win. Well, it's because recently uh, Fortnite had a turn out Teenage Mutant Riots. Riots? I live near Belfast. We are professionals <laughs> at riots. True. True. So, yeah, so well, thank you so much, Steve, by the way, for the, uh, for the five. So, so Fortnite recently had a, teen a, teen a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles event. That was easier said than... And uh, that's where this obsession with Leonardo came from. He's, I mean, he's a kid, isn't he? It's whatever he's, game he's playing or whatever on the telly or... It'll change ten times by the time it's his birthday. Yeah. By the time his birthday comes, there'll be none of these things. And then you'll buy him the thing that it is during his birthday. And then a month later, it won't be that thing anymore. This is a pig to clean up. Bloody children. Been in the hobby since Rogue Trader days, and last weekend I paid my first ultra me, so I guess I marched from a crag. Amazing! How did it come out? Did you enjoy it? Did you have a, a really dirty taste in your mouth afterwards? Don't tell you it's not the best title. Raphael, right? Red. Facts. Did you have a favourite? Uh, I was more confused as to how a rat the size of a a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle that wore a dressing gown <laughs> was there. I was I was more confused by that whole thing. I mean, I don't think we can apply logic to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Luce. I like the fact that the rat was your problem, but the giant turtles were okay. Well, they live in the sewer, and Christ knows so what's the rat. down there. Yeah, but they're, he's wearing a dressing gown. I think your logic fall... So? I just... It confused me. I think your logic and falls then, down there a little bit, darling. And then April not being terrified that there's a talking rat and four human-sized turtles. It's, it's very confusing on a Saturday morning for a seven-year-old. We've got 60 in the new stream gang right now, chat. My birthday is coming Saturday. I'm Irish and it's the as is the day before St. Patrick's Day, wild two days every year, at least a four-day hangover, but I'll be 36 and I can't drink like I used to. 36 years young, sir. Happy birthday for next week, but I'm sure, for this weekend even, but I'm sure we'll probably speak to you in chat before then anyway. He's coming together, isn't he? Look at him. A little, little baggy tail. This is the stage we're supposed to get to here, look. There you go. Look at that. I remember bike mice from Mars, so do I. First time I think I thought motorbikes were cool. Choose the variant you want to build. I don't want wings. Bike mice from Mars. So I need to go to these variants for non wings, don't I? From number five. I could never. Um decide if I actually liked any Saturday morning cartoons because I liked them 
or did I like them because my brother liked them and I was absolutely smitten with my brother. He was the coolest thing. I know I annoyed the pants off him. No. <laughs> I have no idea if any of the cartoons I liked, did I actually like them or was it just time to sit with my brother and be told to be quiet? <laughs> 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 Happy late day of birth. I'll be 55 in June. I mean, I've got Abbott and Pettis and Ultramarine. Lucky to get out. How dare you? So interestingly, if you build the 40k version, it seems to not let you have a raised arm. Do we care? I don't know how much I care. No magnets for wings. Oh, God, no, I don't magnetize. I don't magnetize. Cadbury cream eggs or Cadbury caramel eggs? Cream eggs. Cream eggs, that's right. Caramel's just too Although, too they're not the same. I don't care what it says, they're not the same anymore. Cream eggs have gotten smaller as well. Oh, this is a challenge, actually. This is some reading we got to do. Pin. What about pin? Raised arm is cool, but raised arm isn't 40k. So can I get all these weird chest bits on? For the armor. And do a raised arm and it still makes sense. It's going to be a challenge, this. Let's see what happens. See what happens, eh? We're off. I'm 54 next month. Listen to all you young'uns. 45. Listen to all you young whippersnappers out there. Like, it's a bit of a nightmare to read. It's a bit all over the place. I mean, it's a it's a pretty model, but the kit's a bit all over the place, and I don't I don't want to have to miss out all the forty k detail just to change the way the arms raise, you know. But I like all my models to try and be a little bit unique. Pull me on. Ooh, 18 minutes. 17 minutes. No wings. Feet only. Kit is lovely and heartbreaking. Yeah, 100%. Definitely the experience I'm having right now. I mean, it's not heartbreaking, it's not true. It's that the torso was a bit of a pig. Um, there's a couple of, like, weak attachment points where you've got to be a bit careful. But I think we passed the difficult part now. Well, there's a chest piece I'm missing, evidently. Have I, have I missed a step? No. I've literally missed a step. Ow. So here, chat, right? We get to this part. Ah. Huh. Uh, okay, we have I have missed some steps. Didn't need this bit yet. I done fucked it, and I. We need to put this foot on, put that foot on, and then we do that that chest piece because we're doing a 40k arm. <sighs> right, okay. Fuck me. 
It's not very clear. It probably is, actually. It's probably my fault. Probably my fault. 23. Probably on me, chat. Probably my fault. We'll take the blame on that one. Two hundred people in chat. We're almost at two hundred likes as well. Have you got three likes in you, chat, to get to two hundred likes? Have you? Likes are free. Subs are free. Just throwing that out there. Have you liked it? Counting. Oh my god. Two hundred and six likes, you beautiful human beings. Heroes, thank you. Now we cannot go on about likes anymore. I've got 200 likes, thank you. Now subs, they do cost you memberships. <laughs> Five pounds for one gifted, but you get to feel good. It's all about feeling good. 200 people. I like just now, but Liam will enjoy my, ignore my joke still. They ignore your jokes. Oh, was that a joke before? Night, guys. Night, wee man. Thanks for hanging out, dude. We're too busy watching. I'll allow it. We've got to 230 likes. Fuck me. 33 of you hadn't bothered your ass. Sometimes chat, I don't know why we're friends. Have you liked it? I'm not even convinced she's sub to the channel. <laughs> she's probably not. She keeps getting gifted a fucking membership though, Sean. Then looking at me and laughing evilly as she then pays her gifted membership forward. I'm 50 years young today. 50 years young today. Happy birthday, Alden Rua. Thank you so much for the five euros. Chat, everyone say happy birthday to Alden Rua. The best way you can say happy birthday to anyone is, is with a gift. Do you see what I'm doing there, chat? Do you see what I'm doing? Do you see what I'm doing there? best way you can celebrate a man's birthday anyone's birthday for that matter is with a gift thank you so much for the five euros eh? you're a legend Twenty-five. Why do people number these in order? It's the shit out of me. Twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-two, twenty-three. Have you, have you liked it? Since you started breathing again, I see you finished counting. Yes, I've liked it. Yeah, I'm on. I'm off the counting. Sean uh, suggested you won't even subscribe, let alone. Right. Uh, yeah, I am. I like how you had to check as well, though. That was, yeah. that was good. 
Where the fuck is 25? Do, 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 do. If you see it before me, chat, shout. We'll ignore the 20 second delay. Here it is, I found it. No one's gifting for your birthday. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, sorry. I thought they cared. Not. Dee dee dee. Bum bum bum. I'm actually very tired, Luce. It's been a bit wired. Oh, yeah. We've got the beard to shave. Do you ever have days where you need much more hobby time? Like you'll you'll sort of do a bit, and then that you'll say to yourself, "That'll be my stopping point," and you finish that bit, and you go, "No, I'm not actually. I'm still a little bit on the ceiling." Yes, absolutely. They can be um, both incredible and dangerous at the same time. So I've. Um, like it can be incredible in terms of my product, my productivity can be quite high, which is good. Uh, they're dangerous typically for two reasons. The first one is I have a tendency to hyperfocus anyway, so I lose track of time altogether, and then I go, "Oh shit, look at the time." Um, and the other reason is because uh, sometimes you should stop and you don't stop, and then you'll do, especially if it's painting. I found this is especially true with painting. You'll be, you'll be at a place where you're like, oh, I should stop here. And you don't. You push it that step further and you cock something up. Yeah. And then you go, oh, if I'd have stopped. There's a saying, and it's really catchy, but I can never remember it. And it's pretty much the when you learn a skill and you say one more time, because you're so proud of yourself, it's on that time something goes terribly wrong. And years ago, when I used to help coach a cheerleading thing it was a flash in the pan i do not come from a cheerleading background so it was a massive culture shock um one of the girls learned to do a non-handed cartwheel and she was really proud of herself and she said i just want to do it one more time and that was when she broke her arm because if she hadn't have put her heart her arm down she would have landed it but her head got a bit closer to the floor she put her hand down last minute and snapped her hand. This Saturday, Discord voice chat, 9pm hobby hangout. I'm afraid, Mr. Dave, I'll be driving back from Thane's day. Sorry, Dave. It's Thane's day. That's not a gift thing I was talking about, though. I specifically used the word gift, chat. 40 to go. 40 to go in seven minutes. So now, because of that experience and the, the snap, the sound of the arm breaking, I'd never heard a sound like it. So now whenever people go, I just want to do it one more time. No, stop right there. <laughs> no one more time. Don't do it. Happy birthday. Happy birthday indeed. I, what? I cut 25 hours. I do not mind growing old. It is the side effects that are pissing me off. What side effects are they then? Mrs. G, what's your worst side effects of growing old? What the fuck have I done with that? Am I mad? Probably. I cut a bit out and I don't know where it's gone. It... There you go. Should we go fucking loopy on camera? There's a bit that goes in there that I cut out and I don't know where it's gone. Something really interesting happened in that whole situation. There is. When she broke her arm, her mum was a head coach and her mum was amazing. And she strapped up the arm, popped her in the car, drove to A&E and everything else. But the whole time she was saying to her daughter, don't look at your arm, look anywhere else, do not look at your arm. And then um, we were chatting about it yesterday, weren't we? That the minute you see the injury, the pain is, it's 
it's almost amplified. Your, yeah, your body can is it can do amazing things. It can essentially shut off pain receptors. Because I was, I was thinking she's going to see it. She's going to see it. Because that's that's what that was the noise echoed in the sports hall. But her mum the whole time was, don't look at your arm. Don't look at your arm. Look up. Look at me. Look at anywhere else. Don't look at your arm. It's amazing what what the body will shut off. Mm. Yeah. Tell the kids to shut the, to tidy the room. Their ears shut off. I know, it's amazing, really. Yeah. <laughs> tidy room. No, nothing. Tidy room. Nothing. You want chocolate brownie? Down like a flash. <laughs> Oop. Oop. Okay, that that bit done. Now this bit goes. Where the fuck does this bit go? Good question. Like that I think. Looks about right. <laughs> oh, thank you for my kiss first. What are you going to ask me now? Always clear this right. Good. Okay. okay. Oh, God. Here we okay. Go. <laughs> are you watching something to do with birthdays? No, no, I'm just not watching Happy Birthday. I'm just going to ask for your suggestion. Is it Gromit's birthday? Is that what you're watching? Listening chat. But budget and then okay. Well we'll have to see if Jack's happy with that. Because Jack might not want to do that. Okay. He didn't listen to you then. No. He told you the plan, it's your job to make it happen. <laughs> This is the, the fifth revision of the plan. <laughs> so now he wants them to have miraculouses. Yep. Are you keeping up, chat? <laughs> now if you want Ben to have his miraculouses, exclamation mark gift. Does the first YouTube hobby stream seem a success? Um, yeah, on the whole. We have maintained a relatively consistent 200 people watching, which is which is pretty good. Uh, Twitch was averaging 40 to 50. So, you know, uh, 100 to 300% 300 better, whatever it is, right? 250 likes on the stream is amazing. I'll be, I'll be very transparent with you now. 250 likes on the stream is amazing. £75 in Super Chats is significantly higher than we would have got in donated bits on Twitch. And 60 new members. So if we if we compare it, it depends on when you when you call it a success, it depends. If we compare it to a Talking Heads stream and revenue generated, not a success. Or even a game stream, not a success. Because we almost always hit 100 members. We almost always hit 100 quid. If you compare it to Twitch hobby streams on Monday nights, 100% a success. So, and moreover, I've enjoyed it. So that, that makes it a success, right? Good. No idea what that is. It's something, something Cat Noir. Oh, it's um, Ladybug and Cat Noir. It's, uh, I think it's on Disney. Yeah, it's a kid's TV show. No, it's on Netflix. Yeah. Miraculous. So if you, if, you, um, if you take it that way, like if you take it, have I enjoyed it? Am I making progress on my hobby? Has it done better than Twitch? Yeah, all of those make it a success. 
but I'm also like, I'm also not one of these people that's like test once and then make a decision. So we'll be doing this on Monday nights for at least, I don't know, at least two months. I think after two months, we'll see if the Mondays are a success or not, right? So if if at the end of April, it's not it's not performing well, we've given it a good run. I don't want to do like one week. Yeah, it didn't do as well as a normal hobby stream or a normal evening stream, whatever. That's not how it's going to work. So current feeling, good. But it's too early to tell, really. Stu, thank you for five gifted. Puts us on 65, what a legend. What a hero. What a hero. What a man. What a guy. He's watching the wrong trousers. That's why he keeps talking about birthdays. Okay, go and put some jammies on. Is it jammy time? Uh, yeah, that's why he's talking about birthdays and the techno trousers. <laughs> which I haven't the heart to tell him. I'm not even sure a pair of those even exist. Well, we, I mean, you'll be able to buy them, but they just won't be big enough that you'll be able to fit in them. I might have to, you know, like I made his box troll. I might have to make him some techno trousers out of cardboard boxes. <laughs> Get some corrugated cardboard. Ah. I love you very dearly, darling. But. <laughs> I think that was the best present I ever got him. A box oh. that I cut the bottom out of, um, a head hole, two arm holes, and then he was a box troll. <laughs> That was his best present. And he'd walk around the house, banging on his box, as the box trolls do. And he called himself Disney, because it was a, a box from the Disney shop. That was his box troll name, was Disney. <laughs> I think he had it for a couple of years until he couldn't fit in the box anymore. Oh my god, this kit's horrendous. I think I taped it up and re-taped it up five or six times over the couple of years. Why is there... Okay, it doesn't matter. Right, good. I think we're okay. Okay, I think we're going to get away with it. Right, we're good. Dad told me there's Fuck a box trolls too. Is it what? A box trolls too. I think we're. Oh. Not that I'm aware of. Thank you, Stu, by the way, for the five gifted you're here. Sixty-five of the finest new members. We've seen so much Liam head tonight. Yeah, you know. It's what you're all here for. Comparing to Twitch's other shows, long established on the channel. So, if, as a first show, it sounds good. I mean, like compared to Twitch, Ghastly, hundred percent is good. And like I said, moreover, like the most important part is I've enjoyed it, you know. And Luce and I are both sat here in the office hobbying, which is rare. Mm -hmm. Fucking rarer than hen's teeth, this. <laughs> rarer than hen's teeth? Rarer than hen's teeth. I haven't heard that in ages. <laughs> like we're actually in here hobbying, which is just not that common for us. So that, I mean, that makes it a success as well. Do How do I say that? Do you want a piece of advice to do with chickens? No. Do not wear shoes that have laces in a chicken coop. Don't do it. I wasn't going to. Thanks. Okay, right. Uh, how do I say that? Moises Velanova? Velanova? Welcome to Haskal. What a legend. Thank you for becoming a Haskal team member all by yourself. Up to 66 now. Yeah, I'm supposed to be finishing right now, chat. Well, four minutes ago, but I've got four bits before I've got this stage of the build done. So I'm just going to get through these bits. And it's got nothing to do with you being 34 members off of a target. And 25 quid. Nothing to do with that. No, sir. Yeah, Monday hobby. So Luce and I planned a little while ago, Skuna, to spend Monday nights as a hobby night. So sat we have our Saturday night date nights, which is the one <laughs> now the one night a week we don't stream. But we, we watch some telly and we had a camembert, didn't we? And some chat it was lovely. Nice little glass of wine on Saturday. Uh, and then Mondays was gonna be our hobby nights, and I was like, well, if we're gonna hobby, maybe I stream it. And then Twitch offered us the contract and we did it, and I was I actually quite enjoyed it.
so so now you um if you think about vag on sunday nights now you literally get us six nights a week I need to actually watch Dune Part 1 again. I kind of got distracted halfway through and then didn't end up watching the film properly. Got to the end and wasn't sure what happened. But I knew there was a giant sandworm. So I need to watch Dune 1 again before I can watch Dune 2. I need to watch part one again. I can't remember how I got distracted, but I think I, I think I watched it the year before last, where Luce was away, and I was parenting at the same time. That's probably how and why I got distracted. To be fair, I do like a bit of badge. Exclamation mark badge, the sponge. Exclamation mark badge. Don't worry, it's not a dodgy link. You can click on it. Exclamation mark gift. Exclamation mark member. Exclamation mark discord. Exclamation mark beard. I've, I don't even remember all the ones we've got anymore. I think you can like exclamation mark commands or something and it tells you them. Never watched Gene. I mean, I strictly haven't watched it, Lehman. I can't really claim I haven't watched it. I don't really know what happened. I actually need to sit down and watch it. I already sub for a legend. Excited for Wednesday because there's 40, 40k skins. Right, I've cleaned with the bits, chat. There's a bit of glue about to go down. You're about to run out of time. Exclamation mark commands. It is a thing. See, I knew it was. Well, I am definitely chilled. I've just warned it, James. In his face? Yeah, pretty much he was telling me a story and I yawned. <laughs> and I was like, oh. You I'm yawned sorry. in his face because he was telling you a story? Yeah, I'm sorry, James. Very rude. That's good though, that means your hobby night's kind of done yeah. what it's supposed to. Cuppy's emptied. Morning away. What's this? Like that? Like that? God, this thing is fucking fiddly. I think my favourite Wallace and Gromit has to be a grande. I remember, what a legend. I remember. Because uh, Ben also keeps asking for moon cheese. Can you go and get some moon cheese? You know, because the weird fridge that lives on the moon will come and get us. Is it a fridge or an oven? The thing that lives on the moon? Yeah. I don't know what it is. I think it's an oven, actually. I never really thought about what it is. Proofing drawer. <laughs> Does anyone remember the British Gas advert that had Ardman uh, animals in it? I think it was in the late 90s, maybe. I think it was British Gas.
creature comforts are all shouting at you. That's it. Creature comforts. Sorry, chat. My eyes are down. So look at my rose. I can't. Can't see. She's mugging you off. Creature comforts. That's it. She muted the microphone and she was like, instead of gifted, I'll talk to them. <laughs> After Friday, she's all about gifted now, chat. You'll notice tonight's the first night where she hasn't been like, no, don't. She's all about it now. Because I'm counting. Absolute member whore now. Takes no one that much brain power to count loose, don't lie. Otherwise, you can't see what I'm fucking doing here. How the fuck are right, We figured it out, chat. We figured it out. It's been an hour and a half. Where are you getting your bases from? March War again. No, these ones are from Unreal Wargaming. What about the gifted? Yeah, it's biblical nipple. Friday changed her. Oh, fuck, I'm fucking this right up now. Yep, yeah, Friday changed our loose. Didn't it? You like dark it. See, she's not even denying it, yeah. I'm not talking about it. It's uncomfortable. I'm not talking about it. You like dark it. Why is it uncomfortable? I reckon it's just a British thing to not talk about money. Oh, I don't talk about money. Well, it is. It's not. God, this is a fucking fiddly piece of shit, honestly. Sick monkey, you at Thane's Day? How many of you at Thane's Day? I'm excited for seeing people on Thane's Day. Liam streaming until he's happy with subs and super chats. Ghastly secretly, that's been the case for the last no, two years. No, it hasn't. Shut up. It gets this time I start looking over her, she's like, uh, that's why she didn't write a camera on her. And then if I get if I get if I start to wrap up a stream and we haven't hit the target, she just gets this little whip out of her drawer and puts it on the side. I'm like, keep going then. Yeah. <laughs> Counting. Again? How'd you do it when you can't hold your hands out? Use my toes. <laughs> I wiggle my toes. Knit two, increase <laughs> one, knit chat. three, knit two, increase one, knit three. Sounds interesting. It's very repetitive, which I think is therapeutic. You reckon? Yeah. I reckon that would have the opposite impact on me. That's why individual painting, model painting, I've always found it easier than painting like a whole army because... I get to mix it up and you know do different different things, colours, textures. I saw Loose Slave driving at studio opening. Yeah, exactly. What? what what's tonight's loose fact? I don't, know if uh, I don't one. have one. It's a new stream. This chat. We got we got something. We got to do something new. Not. Loose is like a member moan, that's what it'll be. Right. We have so so I will actually clarify what I'm doing here, right? Just so you guys are aware. I originally wanted to put it on this base. Okay. I then discovered, wanting to put it on this base, that there are 
In fact, two ways you can build the legs here. One on a big rock, one on a little set of rocks, right? The big rock is the one I built by accident because I built the first one. He doesn't really fit here. I mean, he fits kind of there, I guess, maybe. If I could pull some of those rocks off and trim that back, maybe I could get it back to there and I can make it work, sort of, kind of. But I'd have to kind of force that one on. Maybe the little one wouldn't do much better, actually. I think it'd be a little bit better. So I then went to this base here, where I think if I wrap these rocks around here, clear some of this, this gubbins off here, I've got this little this little towel that goes in there. He fits quite nicely on the face. Sorry, got to go. I have a Patterdale Terrier to walk and prep to do for work tomorrow. Don't be sorry, Stu. Thanks for hanging out. Thank you for the five. Thank you for 15 gifted, Stu. Everyone say thank you to Stu, because he gave 15 tonight. What's a Patterdale Terrier? It's like a dog, but smaller. Um... So yeah, I think I think I might use this base for this particular rock. Is what I'm thinking. Maybe. Yeah, okay, I think that's what we're gonna do. If I'm honest, I might clear that stone off altogether and put it a bit further inbound. Wings or backpack? Backpack for both of these. These are both footprints. <laughs> Loose count in the subs. Yeah, exactly, Ghasty. I think the smaller rock would look better on this one here. So we're going to go big rock here. With the tail wrap around there. Looking that way. Little rock there. So I think this one for the big rock. That's my gut. Anyway, that's what I was doing. That's what I was checking out at the end there. Because I have to make them work. So we have to do a lot of work. Like Lord Invocatus. We chopped all the rocks off of the foot. I'll show you. We chopped all the rocks off of this foot and didn't mount it, so he's literally leaping through the air. And chopped down some of the rocks on the back feet and used sand to mould it to the base so it kind of looks like it's still part of the base, right? Um, we do it with the berserkers as well. So uh, we chop off the, the rocks that they stand on and we stick some sand in the gap to try and make it look like it all fits on these little bases. Um, yeah. So that's that's what we were doing there. We're just checking which one which one it fits for the base because I'm trying to make this army really nice, pretty, and special. Also, um, for reference, if you guys were around on the Twitch stream when we built the Spartan, um, the uh, 3D printed doors turned up. Look, look at that for a fit. So snug. Don't fall out. Although, if I bring it a bit closer, you'll start to maybe see the print lines. So I don't know if there's an easy way of solving print lines. Or whether they'll even sharp once it's painted, I don't know. Yeah, there we go. Don't be fooled by the hero rock that you got, no. He's not he's not Jenny from the block. Exactly. Oh, that's better. It all look good. Yeah, I just need to get rid of the print, uh, the print lines. We got uh, a few packs of them, the Land Raiders and stuff. They look cool. So. Mount the Demon Prince on the Spartan. Lol. No one's gonna see it on the stream. No, it's not about being on the stream, though, Dan. It's about being up close. Who are those bases from? They look nice. They're from Unreal War Gaming. Google Unreal Wargaming bases, they are gorgeous. So nice. So nice. So, anyway, we have on the first stream of the new schedule where we're specifically finishing early for quality of life purposes, ran over by 20 minutes. Because hobby. I would suspect, actually, in the future chat, that the ones that are likely to overrun are going to be uh, the Mondays and the Fridays because, which is weird, right? There's three that we do from here. Two of them will overrun. Mondays will overrun because it's hobby, so I want to get to a logical point to stop because it makes more sense to get to a logical point to stop rather than just shut it down at, at nine o'clock. And Fridays, we'll be drinking and having fun, so it depends on how the stream's going entirely, right? So, there you go. Uh, right, you people have been amazing. For, like I said earlier, right, for the first ever hobby stream on a Monday night on YouTube... Uh, it's been a success so far. Over 200 people watching for the majority is incredible and it's amazing as always. 
thank you so much if you've come and hung out tonight thank you for all the likes people 260 likes is amazing by the way uh 80 odd pounds in super chat money and 66 of the finest brand new members for a stream that we weren't doing last week is good so we have a full schedule this week as well okay we have a full schedule this week so tomorrow night is a live game of 40k it's joe and i joe will be bringing a demon army complete demon army using a lot of the new stuff that paddy's painted up for us for the channel uh wednesday vag during the daytime exclamation mark vag exclamation mark vag if you want to come and hang out with us on warzone <laughs> on wednesday daytime wednesday night is the 40k show at uh, 7 30 new time because finishing earlier right new time 7 30 on wednesday liam and joe show 13 30 on thursday that's still not going away 7 30 thursday evening another live game joe and i friday 8 30 now 40k after dark okay beautiful saturday is thanes day and i'll see you guys at element sunday 8 p.m badge how much content we do <coughs> when are you lots. getting a, when are you getting a, <laughs> lots lots of content when are you getting a non 40k game i'll tell you mr the morty hammer you are going to get a non 40k this is an exclusive, by the way, because you've hung out with us on a Monday, right? <laughs> so because you've hung out with us on Monday night, you're going to get you 170 people sitting in chat are going to get an exclusive. And if this isn't worth a single gifted membership from every single person in chat, I don't know what is. But the first live non 40k game you're going to get, I think, is on the 26th of this month. We have a special guest coming and joining us in the studio for the day who doesn't really play 40k. Posh Joe's here. Mr. The War Hipster is coming down to the studio. We're going to film another uh, saga of the Great Hall, another talk show. Someone picked that name. I love it. Right. We're going to pick it. We're going to film another saga of the Great Hall with Mr. The War Hipster. And then in the evening, we'll be doing a live game of some sort. And it will probably be H Sigma because it's his favorite game. We might try it on the channel for the first time. And it might be a Liam Learns Age of Sigma live. All right. There you go. That's an exclusive. That's worth 170 new members. Go. <laughs> don't, I don't think it worked. No. Yes, Christopher Hansen. Thank you for the gifted membership. I think it might have just been the delay loose. I think it definitely worked. I think it definitely worked. It's one of 170. Morty Hammer, thank you for the gifted membership. See, it definitely worked. Garsty, thank you for the gifted membership. It worked a little bit. We got to 69. You people are amazing. Right. I am going to cut my hair. And I'm going to cheer, cheer, trim this, I think. There. Nice chiseled beard. Should be, like, should be nice and smart. Have you, have you done it wrong? Motherfucker. After all that counting as well. What AOS armies? We need details. One of them will be Sylvaneth. The other one is going to be. He did tell me. Shit. Flesh Eater Quartz, I think. Biblical Nipple, thank you for the gifted. Arm Holy, thank you for the gifted. Amazing people. 71. Look at you, wonderful humans. Gifting memberships. Tony, thank you for the gifted. Adrian, thank you for the gifted. 73. Sponge, thank you for the gifted. 74. This is how every stream should end. Have you broke it? Have you done it wrong? Right in the middle. Did you? Is this where we should have stopped a minute ago? Adeptus Sangrius. How's that? How's everyone's evening? It's been lovely. We've been. We started the new Demon Prince model. I say new. It's not new anymore, is it? So. This is where I break my arm. <laughs> She's just gonna go outside and slam it in the door. Oh, I, metaphorically. Yeah. Oh, okay. Beautiful. Right, people. Thank you so much. 74 members is no joke for a stream we weren't doing uh, a week ago. I appreciate you all. You're amazing people. I hope we see you all through the week as we put on... Is it... I challenge you, chat. I challenge you. Is there a channel out there that put... And, I, I, and I'm including the, 40, the gaming channel on this one, by the way. I'm including the gaming channel on this one. Is there a channel out there that puts out as much content as we do? Oh, wait. No, it'll be okay. James, thank you for the gifted. The increases are correct. It's the nips that are wrong. So the increases are fine. It'll be okay. So you're all right, are you? I can hide that. 
That's good. Okay, good. But I'm sat here for the next 10 minutes because I need to do my stuff. And stuff. For me, that's a logical. Hi, Walker. Thank you for the gifted. So, I mean, I can't cut my hair without you anyway, so... I sit here with you. You can do. For 10 minutes? Yeah. You've got 10 more minutes, chat. There you go. She's just getting... She just bought you to... See what I mean? If you don't hit the members target, she's like, no, you fucking keep going. She <laughs> hides it like, oh, I have to get to this logical step. Hi, Walker. Thank you for the gifted. You're here. I just finished watching your interview with Siege, his escapade, on their podcast. You mentioned Gork and Walker like Mad Max tabletop game with lots of cars and guns. That's called Gaslands. I've seen Gaslands. Heard you on the Siege podcast and thought I'd pop in and say hello. Looks like I'm a little late though. Yeah, Teague, just this once. 7.30 every day, apart from Fridays at 8.30. And then Thursdays is also an additional show at 1.30 in the afternoon. All right. Quality, not quantity. I'm off to watch VT. Is that so you can, you know... Compare how good this quality is here compared to that. I get it. I get it, Sean. I get it. I get it. Anyway, welcome, Teague. How's it going? Hope you enjoyed that podcast. Well, yeah, I, I'd like to think you enjoyed the podcast if you came over and uh, and hung out here instead of there. Yeah, everyone, welcome. Teague needs a gifted chap. Just saying. I'll catch the next one. You're a legend. Thank you very much for subbing. What a hero. Why star pilot a grey name? Money, in it. Yeah, I have to. I have to keep going, Marvin, because Luce beats me if we don't get to 100 members. If you watched the two game streams last night, Joe uh, says that I beat them, but it's just passed down basically from our terrifying overlord. That is my wife. Yeah. I always say that these eyes are from being tired. It's, it's just being beaten. I don't to get to see any streams live anymore with the new times. PM shift site. Oh, James, that sucks. Sorry. Sorry, but we had to. <laughs> we had to. You're here now, though. Oh, stars back being green. No, no name drop today. Well, I think I feel like I've overused it, Martin. That's the problem. Is that Walla? Yeah. See, loose nose. Our golden demon winner. Mm -hmm. I'll drop it. Not ours. He does his own work, please. See? Overlook. He's so sweet. I talked about him on the Siege podcast because he taught me how to blend. And he messages me. I feel like he watches all my content now just to see if I mention him again. <laughs> so vain. So vain. Those, you know those bits we sent him? Uh, yeah. Never turned up. <gasps> never turned up so i offered to buy in the sprue and then he already sourced them from somewhere else oh i don't think there's anything we can do i'm not escape i'm not i'm not biting did you put a sender's address on it no i don't think so i mean it wasn't it, the value of it wasn't particularly high so um yeah. Mark, we, we have to get you on the talk show one day if you're up for it. That'd be a great one. Yeah. Star, how is your name grey and now green and it never told me that you became a member? What's happened there, Star? It's the only reason why I tuned in. We can name drop the shit out of you if you come on the podcast all by yourself. If you want, mate. <laughs> Nerd Rescue's been deployed. Hang on in there, Liam. Yeah, I'm trying, mate. It did the three blinks. It might come you. and save me. Yeah, it might come and save me finally. 23 to go, chat. It says 77 in front of me. It says 76 in front of you. 23 to go. Let's get it right. Oh, I'm running out of steam now. We'll be all right. Four more rows. We'll be all right. How about the work? Thanks for hanging out, Star. Love you. Oh, it's the last few months I've never in 30 years painted as much. That's good. I'm glad. I'm glad. Probably just because the pavement was technically on hold. It shows, like, I've got a new... Well, I don't know. You've gone green. That's all we care about. That's all we care about. You've gone green. We're on 77. We've got 23 to go. What's going to win? You, chat, or loosen or knitting? Oh, I'm running out of steam. I'm slowing down. I can see myself slowing down and getting clumsy with my stitches now. Chat win. 
Chat won't win. They're done. They burnt themselves out on Friday. We're done. Yeah. Time to have some English muffins, or as you call them, muffins. <laughs> what makes them English? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. Right, people. I do need to go now, because you're about to stop. No, I've got four more rows. Oh, fuck me sideways. Yeah, I've got four more rows of 91 stitches. You know the whole principle in these <laughs> streams, starting and finishing earlier? I don't get to hobby very much, and it turns out they give me an inch and I'll take a mile, apparently. <laughs> As it goes, love. Save me. Why don't you go? I'll just sit here with the music. No, because the next thing I need to do is just sit with the music on. That means yeah. the stream's open, woman. <laughs> I don't think that's particularly entertaining for the people watching. <laughs> uh, um... What was I going to say? I was going to say something again. Why don't you read them the phone book? <laughs> They'll enjoy that. No. Nick one power one, so stick monkey. No, that's rib. I should have kept the demon prints out. I should have kept the demon prints out, Chris. Yeah, but I put it away now because I was like, strict new schedule. I'm sure Liam is used to giving her inch. Not that much. Not that much. Row two. Out of four? Yeah. How long did the first, that number one take? Lucy is against the whole point of the new system. Poor Liam being worked to the bone here. I know, chat, right? <laughs> For sure, Liam is the grafter in this house. Absolutely. He's up at a sparrow's fart to sort the dog out. Do the dishwasher, set a wash, do the ironing, bring the coffee. Oh, wait. Who is that? See, is she, at least she's don't finally telling you. Emmy, if Emmy could talk, I don't think she'd ever say she's seen you before the crack of dawn. I think at least she's telling you now how it actually is, chat. She just lays there in bed waiting for her and coffee. Liam farting. can't squeegee properly. I'm the last one out the bathroom. I squeegee just fine, thank I you. I swear to God, you squeegee shit on purpose, so I just don't ask you to do it anymore. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's not how it works. Is the whip out? It's on the table. I can see it now. <laughs> yeah. Grifter, maybe. Grafter, not so sure. Fuck you, rum drinker. <laughs> really looking forward to Josh Neo S streams. I thought it was worth 170 new members, Dave, and we got like seven. Seven. Blink three times if you need assistance. I've already done that. I've already done that, Demo Gorgon. I've already done that, Kev. Fucking hell. Who's Dawn? <laughs> Crack of door. <laughs> yeah. We'll see what happens when uh, my alarm goes off at five on Saturday. What was this saying your dad came out with yesterday? I'm up before the skids have dried. He didn't say that. He did. He, no. had, he had a friend. He said he had a friend who's obviously no longer with us, but he was a rear gunner. Yeah, in and the he war. said he came out with a saying to do with getting up early that was something like, you're up before the skids are dry. Or something. Garcy says maybe Liam would be up early if you didn't keep him up so late. Yeah, chat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, to be fair, if we finish in five minutes, it's still going to be, what, an hour, 20, 20 uh, four, 50 minutes odd earlier than, you know, um, we normally would on a Wednesday, for example. AOS streaming a podcast, son of a bitch, I'm in. Yes, Martin. Yes. We can do that. We'll get it booked in at some point. Get it booked in, mate. It'd be interesting to do it. If you give it, like, would it, the podcast will be about your painting experiences and stuff. So if you want to talk about it, to be fair, because you might be like, no, I'm done talking about it now. It's up to you. I also feel like chat would be incredibly interested, Mr. Martin, as to how the fuck you managed to convince your missus to start painting AOS armies. And then go to doubles tournaments with you. <gasps> no, she doesn't. That's incredible. At Warhamster World, no less. That's incredible. I love that story. See, I told you he was a nice guy. You've never said that about him. Yes, I have. Looks like Just a thug with the words like he used. Ten minutes ago. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh my lord. Epic scale ruins. Are you trying to get custom made terrain made for just yourself, Dave? Crack of Dawn is the new channel Templars, yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's feisty. She's feisty. Oh my god. What row are you on? Still two? The end of two. Oh. I can knit slower if you like. I do so love to take the piss. I can knit slower if you like. At least the music's good. Good, great. Okay, row three. By the way, she's got a Lady of Vines. She's a beautiful model, Sven. Honestly, she's stunning. Get him on, Liam. I need to know the secret to indoctrinate my partner into the car hobby. <laughs> it's not a cult. It's not a cult. Tell us the source of your power, Martin. <laughs> not a cult. Wait, we can make Daryl make terrain for us at whim. Uh, I'll say yes, because then it just lands on him. <laughs> no, no, Joe still hasn't got his fountain yet, Stick Monkey. So you can't make him make things for you yet. What's the latest with the old world, by the way? Still planning content? Yeah, Joe's working on a sizable Bretonian army, and then he'll pivot to high elves, and then we finally got enough to actually start playing. <laughs> Is this the adult equivalent of RWA? Yeah, yeah. I'm actually going to turn it off like within three minutes, honestly, because at that point we're 40 minutes over, and if I walk out, I turn all the lights off, and she's knitting in the dark. That's on her, <laughs> quite frankly. <laughs> I'm getting tired just watching Liam get tired. Can you we're also, like I said to you at the start of the stream, like we didn't sleep well last night. <laughs> I'm literally hanging out. It's like, oh, we'll be done by nine. <laughs> you went over as well. Not this long. <laughs> I was like 15 minutes over. <laughs> I was like, oh, we do the extra. We'll do the extra time. We might get a few more gifted. No, sorry. I guess we. Uh, I get what? It's about money, the disease. I mean, it's how we eat. No, it's not. Food is how we eat. Don't how do you get money. food? How do we get food? Well, we can grow it. How, what do you grow out of? The earth. Using? Seeds. Where you get from? Fallen fruit and vegetables. No, you don't, you lying fuck. <laughs> or, or animals that pollinate through their poo. You just follow the bats around. Joe is losing his shit over the Bretonians. So many to do. There is a lot to do, yeah. I'm trying not to put anything else on him at the moment because there's a lot to do. He's a busy, busy bee. He's a busy, busy bee, is Joe. Here I am, just sat here enjoying my hobby. How dare I? Um, so, yeah. Hey, hey. Anyway, right, chat. Look, serious talk now. If you're not going to tuck dollar bills into my G-string, then I'm going to go. So, you guys have been amazing on this first Monday night stream on the channel that we're now nearly 40 minutes over. I'm going to say goodnight because I need to groom i'm gonna go really short for tomorrow you're gonna to hate me all right bye you to groom so i'm gonna say goodbye to you all now i'm gonna say thank you uh, it's been a good fun stream these will be we're gonna run these for at least at, le at the very least probably two months as a test right to see what's going on i feel like it's gonna be a lot of fun um i feel like it's gonna keep my hobby motivation high so i'm actually um my gut instinct is that these are gonna just keep going because i think it'll be fun and extra content and now we can literally say on the 40k channel alone we can literally say uh, we can literally say a show every weeknight which is kind of a cool thing to say actually when you think about actually offering people an entertainment not package for a week weeknight. yes it is no, it's not. how isn't it not because saturday and sunday are days so it's weekends of the week. but they're days of the week it's weekends i'm gonna throw there. something heavy at you in a minute <laughs> or i'm gonna wait till you get to that last row and then pick it all apart so it's a cool thing to say. We do a show every weeknight. 
Uh, but thank you so much for hanging out with us. Again, 7.30 tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday, 8.30 on Friday. Don't forget the Liam and Joe show as well. Don't forget Vaj. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. You beautiful, beautiful people. We'll see you in the next one. Side by side, and you forgot where they.